The life that my elders described to me in their stories was not the life I was living. When I was young, they named me Delina because I was as quiet as a mouse. Back then I spent many sleepless nights with drunks cussing and dancing around in our living room. The neglect and abuse were so extreme that my older brother, younger sister, and I knew what people meant when they said that extreme abuse kills the soul. We somehow pasted on a happy face, even when the pain was so unbearable we wanted to die. When I became a teenager, my name changed to Daldita because I was as chatty as a squirrel. I could party with the best of them. I was big enough to beat up the drunks who abused my brothers, sisters, and I. It was then that my brother shot himself. At one point I told my aunt what was happening at home. She said, Don't hold hard feelings towards your mom. You don't know what it feels like to see your mom drown when you are four years old. While my mom continued to drink, I had to learn from my elders how to take care of my breath, my, my physical presence, my soul, my feelings, thoughts, and actions, and my spirit, my God-given invisible eternal energy. I also had to forgive my mom for always trying to convince me that God didn't exist. For if he did, he was never there to help me when I needed him, so why should I pray to him? When we were young women, my sister shot herself. It was then that I knew I had to move out of the village and learn how to live a normal life or take the chance that I would do to myself what my sister and brother did. A few months later, my mother passed. Before she went into a coma, I told her that I had to forgive her for making me her mother. I had to forgive her for making me take care of her house, kids, bills, and for putting up with her and her drunks. I had to forgive her for not protecting us when drunks beat us up, molested us, and cursed at us. Today, I continue to find ways to heal my soul, as I proudly wear the name Dazi Kizan, a name given to me when my new mother adopted me. After I told her my story, Mama June told me that she gave me the name because the woman who came out of the fire perseveres over all her life trials and grows into a beautiful, strong spirit. I tell the story of my life so that others know that they are not alone, that there is hope, that life can improve. After all, I already lived in hell. Now I choose to live in heaven.